when I first um, realized that I was losing weight, from there I started seeing a, a kidney specialist and I went on dialysis. While I was on dialysis, I um, was told about uh, getting my name on the kidney transplant list and I was referred to um, the kidney transplant team at Christ, Dr. Mattel and Dr. Chabra, and there's a whole team. There are nurses and nutritionists and dietitians. They, they all um, interview you initially and sort of tell you what to expect with a transplant or not but I was already sold on a transplant. All I needed to do was find a kidney. When I first found out that I had to go on dialysis, I told some of my family, and they, um, several of them said they would give me a kidney. Kena, however, was the only one that followed through with it and went through all of the testing to find out whether or not she could give me a kidney and that we matched. Well, I knew that other family members would want to help my aunt. I did not think I would be the only one, and I was right. Um, so I went in for testing, and it was relatively simple. It was a simple process, a lot of testing, but it was all the same. Well, the day of the surgery was, came very quickly. Uh, we met up at the hospital, and uh, we did a little bit of test that morning. We both went into surgery, and uh, I left the hospital about 14 hours after the surgery. So it, was, it went very quickly for me. Right, and I was only in the hospital for five days, five short days. And I think that everyone was surprised that I was well and ready to go that soon. But um, the hospital staff was wonderful. It was, it was just great. And I think I was uh, in bed maybe for an additional two to three days just up for necessary things and then I was fine. I was out of the hospital early and I needed to get back to work so I went back to work 10 days after the surgery so uh, it went very smoothly, very easy process and I didn't have any trouble after the surgery. Unfortunately I was retired, so I had a couple of weeks of leisure time with my uh, son cooking for me oh. and people visiting, and it was just really uh, an easy time after the surgery. Well, it turns out to have been the only decision I could have made. I, there's, no other, there's no other choice that could have been made, and most of the time I just forget about it until somebody else brings it up. I mean, yeah, it, until I think about my aunt, so. Uh, actually, we're closer now than before, so right. that's a wonderful I have part benefit, of her. right? <laughs> and uh, it was the only decision to be made. We are a lot closer because part of her is in with me now. Um, I couldn't have had a better gift. It felt like it gave me my life back. I do now feel like I'm almost back to the person that I was before it started to happen. And I, I can't thank her enough or love her any more than I already did, but I think I do. And um, I'm, I'm back to things that I was doing before, like trying to exercise three to five times a week and finally went back to try out my golf swing, <laughs> which was never very good, but it was a lot of fun.